Well, I finished mowing the front lawn and unfortunately I uh, ran out of power. So I'm going to go back to a project that I started earlier today and finish it up. Okay, so here's the deal. I got one of these iRig Pre's. Now, I got it for my iPhone actually. I got it because I was using it for doing Facebook streams, Facebook Live. It was pretty cool. Hey everybody, I am live at the Small HD booth and I have Joey Thomason with me What's from Small on? HD and we're going to be talking about the new production monitors. I hated the way I mounted it actually. I was mounting it on a iographer and I was using this bracket and it's basically just, you know, an extension with uh, cold shoes for adding a ton of stuff on it. Actually, it's supposed to have three. But what I did was, well, I took off. <laughs> I took off the last one to put this in. So anyway, to make a long story short, all I was trying to do was get audio into my OIS, iOS, whatever, <laughs> OS 10 device, because it has this cool triple connection. And that is what I needed. Without this, I can't get audio into my iPhone. So, um, I figured, you know what? I was using one of these ties and I wanted to use a cold shoe and I wanted it to stay on there permanently. So, what I did was I grabbed some Gorilla Glue this morning. I put it on there, cleaned it up. I think it did a pretty good job actually, if you look at it. And I cleaned it all up with some Sharpie to make it look nice and clean because Gorilla Glue, well, it kind of looks like snot when it's not dry. <laughs> when it dries, it gets all brown and looks like boogers. I don't like the booger look, okay? So anyway, and then I, when I was taking it apart, I was like, wait a minute, this is weird. Like, I, I lost battery. And I'm looking inside of here and I'm like, wait a minute, look at that. See these connections? Look how bent up they are. What kind of garbage is that? That's a terrible build. I didn't do that, by the way. I didn't bend it. All I did was take the battery out. <laughs> so now it's all bent up and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna bend it back and see if I can get it to turn on. But see, those things are hooked right to a circuit board. All right, I'm gonna try and bend it back. So I'm a little bit worried that I basically glued this thing to a thing and now I might be defective now. <laughs> It's broken. I spent all that time breaking it, basically. So let's put it back in. Better get battery. Gosh darn it, look, dead. I mean, seriously, it's freaking dead. Does the light come on? I can't believe it. Oh, the light just came on. Light came on. Okay, so, okay, it's intermittent. And then there it goes, see? Okay, so I gotta fix that. Okay, let's fix that. If I break that solder, it's over. Yes, Do we have intermittent power. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna put the door on. And with the door on, does it stay on? Yes. All right, I'm not impressed with that at all. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more to make that work because I, I don't trust it. I don't think it's gonna stay on all the time. And the reason why I got this was to get audio from a microphone like this, the Rode, or even if I wanted to use something like this, I can use this. This is the Rode NTG 4. And uh, that was the plan, okay? So let's see what happens. So I'll plug that in. Big headphones on, let's see what happens. Check, 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 level, level, level. Guess what I don't hear? I hear nothing. Oh, wait, oh, I hear it. Check, check, okay. That's interesting. So it has to be on your iOS device to hear it, but you can hear it. It's not very loud though. So I'm gonna turn the gain up. And that sounds pretty good. Let me check the level on the iPhone. I don't see a level. Okay, so I am getting audio. I can monitor it. That's okay. So, a successful test. All right, well, it looks like it was at least fixable. Got it back up and running. Doesn't seem to be doing anything weird. 
so we're back in business.